Gibraltar Maritime Week aims to showcase and promote Gibraltar's maritime sector to a wider international audience. The government, together with the Port Authority, Maritime Administration and Petrospot, have joined forces to create this new biennial event. The Chief Minister opened the conference programme, which includes sessions examining the global picture, bunkering, environmental opportunities and legal issues in shipping. Perfect timing then for the launch of a maritime academy at the University of Gibraltar, where the Minister for the Port reflected on the rock's rich maritime history and high professional and regulatory standards. That is why Gibraltar has acquired a reputation as a first-class jurisdiction. And it is the reason why we have become the number one port, number one port in, in the Mediterranean and currently around the seventh port in the world in terms of bunkering volumes with over four million tonnes of fuel deliveries each year. The minister said the recently opened LNG terminal has acted as a catalyst towards the creation of a legislative framework together with a code of practice that will see LNG bunkering in Gibraltar in the not-too-distant future. However, the training of seafarers, he said, was of fundamental importance to the future of shipping and maritime industries. The academy through the university will provide, as from September 2020, a full academic and professional training pa package developed and delivered to the highest accredited standards in the industry. We are truly excited at the prospect of putting Gibraltar firmly on the map as a provider of world-class maritime training. The university will be offering four new undergraduate degrees as from next year. These include a BSc Honours in Maritime Science Nautical with Deck Cadetship and a BSc Honours in Maritime Science Engineering with Engineer Cadetship. Additionally, these will also be offered online for distance learners. All degrees will be aligned with the UK's Merchant Navy Training Board and Maritime and Coast Guard Agency standards.